So this is a demo video for one of the many templates available on Cuttle. If you sign up for an annual subscription, you get 20% off the full price, which works out much cheaper per month. But by using my affiliate link, you get the extra 10% off, which works out at 30% off total. So this is the demonstration of the keychain generator and the emoji keychain generator. I'll do them both in one video here, nice and briefly. Just click on that, load up, and here's your interface. This is the kind of thing you make. This one's been made with acrylics, you see, and this one made with wood. Very simple. This is your little layout here. You can see the sizing here. So this is just over an inch or about an inch. It looks bigger here, obviously, but you can see the sizing here, what kind of size you've got. You can adjust this overall by just simply hovering over the size here and just move left and right. You can change the size of it or you can click on it and type it in manually. There we go. Here's where you change your text. So I'm going to put Forge UK. Very simple. Now it's obviously bigger now, so that's gone up to five inches. I don't want a five inch, <laughs> I don't want a five inch um, key ring. So I'm just going to change the size of that down to about two inches. There we go. And as you see, as I change one parameter, other parameters adjust as well accordingly. So now this isn't going to work too well. So I need to make some other changes. First, I'm going to change the font. Now here you can see, because I have a pro account, I have my own fonts area so I can change that. Now some fonts it might struggle with, it might not like it. That's pretty cool. That looked pretty cool engraved, but it doesn't really fit the, the aesthetic of, of the brand. So we'll change it to another one. Bohemius, my Bohemia Spirit. Let's click on Candyland, give that a try. It takes a while to lo load up sometimes. That's okay, but again, not quite the right type of theme. Again, too fancy. Let's try this one. Pretty cool. And that's not, it's not liking that one. So some, some fonts it doesn't like. Let's try another font here. There, yeah, simple. There we go, let's go with that one. Just for now, just for demo purposes. So this is about one and a half inches, maybe, yeah, just, just over one and a half inches in width. You see here, this is the hole it will make to, to put your key ring loop into. So we need to change some of this. So we've got little other adjustments we can make here. Letter spacing, let's just change that a little bit. Get that closer together. Again, just slide left to right to change that, or you can put it in manually. I'm gonna move it to slide to the left. Outline, now this I believe will change the cut. There we go. Moving a bit closer, that looks a bit better, doesn't it? So we'll do that. Now the whole position, this is what we need to change. We can change that to left to right. There we go, a bit further out. A bit higher up, around about there. Maybe a little bit closer. There we go. Now the whole diameter, um, I'm, I usually do it in millimeters, so I can change that. You can change all of these to whatever measurement you want, centimeters, inches. If you're using a CNC machine, your design could be changed to feet or in pixels, of course. So about four mils, what I normally go for. I'm gonna make these holes. So I'll go with that. And the whole outline, let's reduce that slightly. Just moving it to the left a bit. There we go. And the other bonus as well is you can just easily change the text very quickly to something else. Let's change it to, imagine a car, oops, a car. There we go, car key fob. Might wanna change the font to that one. But again, we just change the whole position, just out a little bit, and down a little bit. So a matter of seconds, I've now changed it into a Ferrari key ring. Let's change it to another one. Let's change it to a, um, a name, another name, so let's go with, um, there we go, Andy. Let's quickly change the font. We've now got it to just over an inch, about an inch. Change the whole outline, make it thicker if you want to. Change the position slightly, move it down a bit. Move it down to this corner here instead. That's pretty cool. Click download, there you go. So now let's do a quick demo of the emoji keychain. 
very similar to the the other one except instead of a text box you have emoji box everything else is pretty much the same so let's just change this one to something else let's have a look at let's make a taco a taco tuesday now you see here i've used a different emoji and the little whole thing has been separated because of the size but it's not a problem I'll just change the whole position move it over a little bit there we go simple as that so all these things all these parameters are adjustable at the moment it's 1.4 inches make it a little bit smaller outline get that a little bit closer a little bit further away yeah about there whole diameter there, whole outline, about there, there we go, a few seconds, I've changed it, that's how I want it, I'll download the SVG, that gets engraved, this gets cut out, I add my my chain and the hoop, and I've got myself a key ring, so you can, you can change this very quickly, very easily, let's change it to another one, change it to a chili, again, the hole's moved, because obviously I've changed the, the emoji, so I've just got to change the position of the hole itself there we go move that down that way there we go over a little bit more down a little bit more there we go and now I can change the whole outline a bit smaller there we go now I've made a, a, a chili keyring that's how simple it is a lot of time saving involved here so give it a try